Hello, it's Liz. Welcome to Lunchtime with Liz, whether you're watching this actually during your lunchtime or later in the afternoon or in the evening, whenever. I'm glad you're here. These are the cards I want to show you today. You'll notice that they are all pretty much the same card. One thing is different. It's the ribbon, how the ribbon is tied. So I just wanted to show you today three different ways that you can add ribbon to your card. Um, I know for some people making a bow is intimidating. I'm going to try today to show you again close up and slowly how I'm tying my bows. I will tell you my bows don't always turn out perfectly. They just don't. There's time. Some of the ribbons, they are easier to tie than bows than others. So if you're having a hard time with one ribbon, try a different type of ribbon. That sometimes helps. Um, they don't always turn out perfectly. So I just wanted to give you three options for putting ribbon, but don't just say, oh, I can't tie bows. I'm not going to use ribbon. Get some ribbon and I'm going to show you three different ways that you can add ribbon to your card. That's beautiful. So, um, here are the three cards and let's go ahead and I'm going to make one from the beginning and show you how we're going to do that. All right. What I'm using is I'm using a white piece of cardstock. Just the, that's my card base. Okay, and then the pattern paper that I'm using is Pansy Petals, Pansy Petals Designer Series paper, and it is in the annual catalog. I have two pieces of that. One piece is three and three fourth inches by three and a half inches. And then I have another piece that's three and three fourths inches by one and a quarter inches. Okay, and all of the papers that we have are double-sided with different prints, so you can pick and choose what you would like. Set that aside for a minute. And then I'm using a piece of Evening Evergreen, Evening Evergreen cardstock, and that is four by five and a quarter inches. So let's go ahead and just attach those pieces. Let me get all these little post-it notes off of here. I love, love, love post-it notes. So generally speaking, I put about a quarter, no, no, about an eighth of an inch on all of my borders, generally speaking. Sometimes that changes. I'm putting that down, and then we're going to add the top piece. Hope you guys are doing well today in my area. It just started raining about maybe 15 minutes ago, and I think it's supposed to rain all day today. But that's okay. All right. I'm going to put that down and you'll notice there's a gap in the center. That's okay. We're going to be putting our ribbon right there. Okay. So this is, let me show you first. We're going to do an actual bow. Okay. Hang on. Cause I know some of you that's scary. We're going to do an actual bow. So I think what happens sometimes is like I said, some ribbons are easier to tie in bows than others. Depends on the flimsiness or thickness of the bow of the ribbon. Sorry. Um, and sometimes I think we try and be too chintzy with the ribbon and we cut too short of a piece and then it's hard to work with. So this is 18 inches. I'm using a Evening Evergreen um, Sheer Ribbon and it is 18 inches long. It's okay, 18 inches, let's do it. Okay, so I'm gonna lay this flat on this side. When I am tying a regular bow, I turn my project, my card, whatever, upside down. So I'm gonna turn the whole thing upside down and I'm going to make my ribbon ends fairly even. Okay, I'm going, if I right hand, I am right-handed. If you're left-handed, I'm sorry. I know I've had some customers who are left-handed and I, I know you're used to this in your life, but you got to figure out how to change that. Um, so I am right-handed. So I'm taking the right end, the right side over top the left. And I'm just going to loop it underneath. Okay, so that's what I have at the moment. Pull it relatively tight. And I'm putting a finger right there. And then I'm using my thumb and making a loop. So that right now, this is what I have. And I'm kind of using my forefinger here to hold that down. And I'm going to make another loop. I'm coming up here, using my forefinger here, and I'm making another loop. So that at the moment, I have these two loops. And I'm going to take the left one over top of the right one. I know it's hard to see in there. The left over top of the right, and I'm going to tuck that loop inside the hole. And then pull. Pull. 
It looks goofy at the moment, it's okay. Now I'm gonna turn it back around and play with it a little bit. Okay, try and get this a little bit. Sometimes you have to pull on the tails And I'm telling you, depending on the ribbon, sometimes mine don't come out the way I like them either. So sometimes you have to try again. Sometimes you need a longer piece of ribbon and sometimes you just grab a whole different type of ribbon. Okay, so there we go, that's my ribbon. I'm gonna actually cut off my tails just slightly. Okay, I would cut them here. Actually, I'm gonna pull this off later, but I would cut my tails here and then once it's on, you can slide it, use your fingers and you can slide it to where you want it on your card. If you want it on the left side, you want it on the right side, and you can just slide it back and forth, okay? So that's the actual bow, that's one option. I'm gonna undo that and I'm gonna show you another one. So the next one is just putting a piece of ribbon on your card. This is five inches and I'm just going to take some adhesive along the back of my card. Actually, let's put it all along the side. And then I'm taking this ribbon along the front, line it up where I want it to be, and just wrap that and stick it right on the stickiness on the back. Okay. And then I can just put that down on my card, and that's this one here. Just put that down on my card, put my sentiment over top, and there you just have some pretty ribbon, and that works. Okay, and this was the first one where I actually tied the bow. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and actually just put this on here. Adhere this to my front of my card. Again, I do about an eighth of an inch around the edges. I do not get out a ruler and measure it. I stand up, look down at it, and center it okay so that could be left just like that the next one I'm going to show you is the faux bow faux bow if you've been in my classes I've shown you how to do this um, but let me if you haven't been to class or you know you just forget let me just show you what we're gonna do with a faux bow if tying bows I would suggest keep trying try longer pieces of ribbon try a different type of ribbon um, but if you're really frustrated with it, I don't want you to be frustrated. Card making shouldn't be frustrating. But if you're frustrated with it, or it's just a different look you want to go for, try a faux bow. I do this often. I promise I do this often. So I have a five inch ribbon that I wrapped around here. Now I have a second five inch ribbon. I'm going to take this five inch ribbon and just tuck it underneath that one. So I have this. Okay. And then I'm going to take, again, my left over top of the right, wrap it around. When I come here, I grab this one on the left and turn it over, turn it toward the front, okay? So let's try that again. So I'm gonna slide it through. I'm taking the left over the right Put it through that hole and then turn it over and you're just going to pull pull on your ribbon and then once you have it on there you can slide it wherever you want it to be you want it over on the side you can slide it down you can slide it to the right I'm going to slide it right here take the scissors and we're going to cut off Oop, that didn't cut real well sorry Cut that off, cut off this end, and there we have a faux bow, okay? So give that a shot. This is the faux bow here. And it doesn't tend to be as puffy or as big as the actual bow either, so sometimes we want it to be a little more flat than we're actually doing the bow. All right, so let's finish up this card here. I This is the lovely label, Punch. I punched this out already. I'm using Evening Evergreen ink pad. The stamp set I'm using is called Heal Your Heart. This is actually not available right now. I don't usually do this to you, but this one is actually not available right now, Heal Your Heart. But if you were with me a while ago, this is one of the stamp sets from Celebration in January and February. So 
Um, it is not available right now, and I apologize for that. But I know some of you have it already, so I just thought I'll do it. But you can grab any sediment you have. And I'm using Evening Evergreen. And stamp straight down, straight back up. Just remember, no rocking when you're stamping. Not good. Rocking is good with babies, not so good with stamps. I'm going to use 2021-2023 in color jewels. Add a little bling to your projects. I use a scissors like this, or you could use the take a pick tool. Get underneath pick them up and they stick right down. There's different sizes on here. So you can vary the sizes of your gems that you're adding on. We all need a little bling, right? Okay, so that's it there. Grab our dimensionals. Just gonna add a couple dimensionals on the back. Guys, let me know if this helped. I appreciate just knowing what's helpful to you, what you'd like to see. Um, if you think there's someone you know that would uh, could benefit from learning how to tie a bow, send it on to them. And there you go. There's your card. So again, let me pull back in all three cards. You have an actual bow. And then you just have flat ribbon. And then we have a faux bow. So hope that helped you out today. Have a great day and I'll talk with you later. Bye guys.